For this method, you don't need a violin. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to find the right size of a violin for you. There are three ways of doing this. The first way, if you have the opportunity to go to a violin maker, or to a violin store. You just take one of these violins and then after putting it onto your left shoulder, you stretch your arm. So you stretch your arm and if you can see that your hand is out there in the air, which means that your wrist lands here at the end of the scroll, it means you need the next size. If your hand lands somewhere here and your arm is stretched, so if you basically go like that, then you don't need the next size yet. You only need the next size when your hand is looking out. If you, however, took a very, very small violin, stretched your arm and went like that, <laughs> then you definitely need to try two sizes bigger. It would be perfect for children when they kind of go like this. They're almost there, but not there yet. Don't go for the bigger version. Yeah, stick with a small one. Always stick with a smaller version in doubt. When children are between sizes, it's always good to decide to stick with a smaller violin. This is how I do it with my students as well. So this was one way of determining the size of a violin. The next way is by also putting your violin here on your left shoulder and then putting your fingers around the scroll. If your children can do that, and the arm is here, it's not stretched, it's relaxed, it's bent, yeah, so it's curved, then they need the next size. Again, if it looks like that, they need the next size. If it looks like this, not yet. If you're not sure, they're kind of, hmm, not quite there yet, always stick with a smaller size. Remember, that's very important. And the third way of determining the size of the violin Where's my measuring tape? For this method, you don't need a violin. You simply take the tape, put it in the middle of your palm, and then go all the way to the base of your neck. And then you have a look how many centimeters there are. And based on that, I'm going to put all the measurements down below in the description box and also here in the video so that you can see them. So if you don't have the opportunity to go to a violin store or to a violin maker, to a luthier and find out what size works best for you, the tape is your solution. Remember to put it in the middle of your palm, then go all the way to the base of your neck. These were the three ways by which you can find out what size violin you need or what size violin your kids might need. If you don't have the opportunity to go to a violin store, you can measure the length of your arm. And if you can go to a violin store, to a luthier, to a violin maker, then you can use the two ways I showed you by simply stretching your arm or by putting your fingers around the scroll. If you need a new violin, I'll put the links in the description box below for beginners. Simple violins for beginners are not not expensive, so I'll put all the links down below, click on them, buy new violins, start practicing today and more videos are going to come soon. If you're a violin beginner and if you like this kind of videos, then make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, let me know how else I can help you and I'll see you again in the next video.